personally believe this is like full conspiracy theory, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. I believe like somebody infiltrated the upper echelons of education and poisoned the curriculum of the Ivy League schools. And then in America, you know, they put the shit in the top level schools. And then what they did from there is all the next level schools, they try to copy the Ivy League schools. So they changed the curriculum and then it just bleeds down because this is where it's all coming from. Because 90% of divorces initiated in America, or excuse me, college educated women, college educated women, they initiate divorce 90% of the time in America. 90%. We have, we have the same rate in Arab world. The same oh, one. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's something, I don't think it's an education. It's because if it really was an education, women would be running the world, but they're going there and they're getting useless degrees. Like in America, $900 billion of the student loan debt is owned by women. $900 billion. That's almost a trillion dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's, I think Bitcoin is currently over 900 billion right now in its market cap. But American women. That number alone, two years ago, John. That number two, two years ago. Now so it's over a trillion. Is it now? Over a trillion, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Bitcoin is $905 billion market cap right now. So American women have more debt than the total value of Bitcoin. Mm. <laughs> oh, man. Let me read these server chats. Uh, you got to, you just got to laugh at it. And that's why I tell the guys on my channel. I tell him, I said, look at me, look at what I'm doing in my life. I'm literally broadcasting my success journey. I said, even if you hate me, and you mm. think you're better than me, then that means you can do it. And that's all I want to teach guys is you can do it because look at me doing it. Uh, Monty Music 90, $5 super chat. Guys, great YouTube channel, great music here if you want to check him out. Monty Music, real red pill lyrics. I talked to this guy the other day. These videos are like taking a class every day, constantly learning. You said two years the West will collapse. That was you, Coach Kareem. No, no, no. I didn't say two years. Else, I said in few years, a few and the collapse. Yeah, and the, and the collapse will be long term collapse. It's not like in one week everything will vanish. No, it will. It will start to decline and the decrease of the population. It's it's called demographical catastrophe, and following the demographical catastrophe is economical catastrophe because old right. people do not produce yet. You need young and youth and uh, strong people. So. Yep. The economic will follow this demographical collapse. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I went to a I went to a robotics exhibition here in Tokyo. I saw the fucking sad shit, dude. There was a robot that they have created that you lay down next to when you're gonna die, and it soothe it rubs you, and it's like it's okay. You're gonna pass into the next world now, and you're gonna die. And you have a fucking robot with you when you're dead. So you're literally just going to die alone. This is something they're engineering for people. Yeah. I want to be surrounded by the people I love when I die. I want to yeah. be, you know, looking over a sunset. I don't want to be fucking in a room alone. Like, you know, like just, oh, well, thank God I fucked 200, 300, 400 girls. Like, okay. Like, you know, dad, I want to die with dignity. I want to die an old yeah. man with a beautiful family around me. People respecting me like this is a grandfather, yeah. Jonathan. He built you, this riches. You just remind me. You just remind me of, uh, of a story I told that I told Torsha that my yeah. uh, my, my grand my grandmother is my grandmother. Uh, like I wish her to to rest in peace. She was she was illiterate. She don't know how to write or, or to read. Wow. By today by today's standard, like she's uh, she's a failure. She doesn't have any PhD or master or bachelor degree. But when she died at 83 years old, she had 11 kids and around 100 grandkids around her. Whoa, 100 grandchildren? Yeah. Holy cow. That's, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a way, that's, that's, that's a good life, man. I, um, I, I just, Everybody that I know who has kids, they would like, you know, I, I asked King Dre because King Dre is a good friend of mine, right? And I said to him, I said, Dre, where, where the hell do you think you'd be without your kids? He's like, I'd be in debt or in jail or in the streets or some shit. 
He's like, my kids keep me alive. And he's a very good father. He works very hard for his children. But, you know, he doesn't talk. I think people, a lot of think, a lot of people think he's just like some stone cold player on mm -hmm. YouTube giving like vicious advice, which he does. Mm -hmm. um, but he's, he's a very smart guy. He has like a million plus followers on TikToks and he's a good loving father and he does a lot for those kids, you know, and I think kids are a good thing. I, I don't, I see a lot of guys, like I talked about this on rule zero last week. We're not seeing because we've seen this PUA revolution in men, right? But we're not seeing what is the end result of it. Yeah. And for me, I I had a like a life changing moment last year when I kind of did a lot of therapy and kind of looked in towards myself and realized that my sexual hunger was coming from an unhealthy place. And now I'm at the point where I I don't even want to go back out and date and go to clubs and try to talk to girls. I look at that as a sickness now. And yeah. I understand. And I'm not trying to say for you guys out there who are trying to, you want to go out and have sex with a bunch of girls, do it. I, I, I definitely say do it. I just think I did it way too long. <laughs> I yeah. think I should have, yeah. I should have got off the horse in my twenties. Um, but I, I know also that it is not, it's not the answer. It's not the final answer. It's not the final call. It's not the final thing. I have a girlfriend now, and I'm very happy in my relationship with her. And when she's here, when she's here, I don't want, want other women. When she's away, sometimes I'm like, uh, I don't know. Should I do it? You know, because, you know, because she's not here to, yeah. to, 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 to like calm me down. You know, like, uh, like, the you know, just the, the man in me comes out. Um. But, by, the, by the way, from, from biological point of view, when your woman away, your testosterone yeah. level w will get raised. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, that explains a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that explains a lot. Yeah, no, actually, when she does leave, I become more aggressive. I become more, like, manly. And when she comes mm -hmm. back, I'm like, oh, okay, I can kind of, like, She'll humble you kill. down. Yeah, I don't have to kill everybody. Just maybe half of them. 